Uh, back in the streets of Saigon. Feels great. We're down here in District 5. We are on... What street are we on? I don't know. Let's find out. We are on... Yung Thu Yang. And we're here for some dim sum, actually. So Chris has a lady here that he wants to eat. Her, right there. Chris wanted to say hi to her, so we came down here to see her. We're here. I made a video of her already. We're just here to eat a little dim sum. It is Sunday. It's packed. Let's show you, and we'll go eat. They got all types of stuff. And they've grown and added chairs since the last time I was here, because they didn't have this spot over here last time. They only had like a few chairs over here. Oh, wow. Walk over here. The typical items, all the chicken feet. You can see like the radish cakes. Everything, you don't order here, or at least we never have. They just bring it to our table. They give us all kinds of stuff and we get it and we eat and we pick and choose. Yeah. 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 And look at it. Busy Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day. Looks like Chris is already eating with us out us. Are you gonna sit that side? I guess I am. I thought there were people sitting. Trying to find some Ryan. Didn't work. Anyway, let's start with this. Ooh, Max find on the red chili sauce. I didn't see that. Okay, now, where do we start? All kinds of stuff here. Lots of little, little tapioca sticky stuff. This is the utmost. I love this one though. Central Vietnam. my favorite. Chris, I don't think Chris has ever had this one. Which one? This one. It's like the cake? Yeah. I've had it in China. Well, similar, similar. Not exactly, but it's something okay. very similar. But we're going to eat this meal. I won't film too much of it because it's not the point of the video. The thing is, what bothers me is Chris thinks the best bun mi chow. Is in the north. So we gotta show him some good mud meat chow here in the south, how we do it. But first, breakfast number one. I don't know if you're gonna convince me, Max. Oh, I will. Mud meat chow in the north. I'm gonna good. take you somewhere I've never been because I'm so confident. Max, what you going for first? I think pork, chive, and prawn. You go big. This one's prawn, that one's no prawn. Damn. Okay. You're giving me the. I know you don't like seafood. I actually really like prawn, but. No. Ooh, bad. Not soy sauce. Are we going for the double bite? Double, double, double bite. That prawn is so good. That pork is so good. <laughs> I didn't get any. Actually, no, I do have a prawn in there. Mm. Right? Yo. That's Just where kidding. it's at. There's a prawn there. It's a kid on the side. That pork is so good. It has such a juicy flavor. I definitely marinated that with something before they steamed it. This, right, Max? this may be better than last time. I think so. They may have improved on the recipes. Not usually how it goes in restaurants. Mm. Usually I find there's a lifetime where I've added so much chili oil to that mixture. I'm not opposed to having a little bit of sugar in the vinegar. Mm. I Oh my gosh. So much easier when you have someone help you. There's a lot of tapioca in that. Is that good or bad? I just can tell by the way it's like. Oh. <laughs> okay. By the way it's. We can see it. Look at that jiggle jiggle wiggle factor. Left handed guys. My food don't move. They wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle jiggle jiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. <laughs> What's amazing is the fact that it's like creamy, but it's still kind of like chewy and tapioca as well. I actually took too big of a bite. Kind of like peanut butter. It sticks to the roof of your mouth. Easily a choke hazard. I promise you. There's a cat next to us. Which is essentially this thing, but it's not as long. So in, in uh, they have like these like uh, shrimp. It's gonna be like a pork, mushroom, onion, not feeling it. I just want pure chive. Oh my gosh, it's broken. Definitely chive and pork, but you can see it's split open on us, unfortunately. Oh, it's got the woodier mushroom as well. Mm. 
I'm gonna do this very unconventional. And just go for it like this. Anytime you got a one to one ratio of chive to pork, I'm in for it. I wanna take a bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been in cafes work inside the made through the streets and out of street cafes. So that and so long, it just hits different. I, something about an air conditioned cafe cannot make a cafe so that like the streets can. If you want the true cafe so that, it's gotta be a non-air conditioned, only fans, coffee shop. They, they just hit different. Hmm. Facts. Facts. Okay, down to District 1 for our Mi Chow. This is one of the most hot places you can get at city center, and it is loaded right now. I know some people would go out to like District 3 to have a touristy one. Well, it's for you right here, District 1. You ain't gotta go far or nothing. Uh, you got it right here on the corner of the road. But they do, don't be afraid to go over here to the stall that does like a Chinese style noodle and sit as well if they are too busy. You know your way around this place, don't you? I've been here once. Been here once, twice. Yeah, but I really like coming here because I like the old school, the signs you can see, the yellows, the reds, the blues. It's very beautiful. Kind of got that that font that I love. And we're gonna, we're gonna get in here. Looks like and... Christmas. Looks like Chris. Looks like Chris misses this food. Get a seat. <laughs> uh, hi, Gooey. Hi, Gooey. Hi. Oh, maybe we can get here. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Gooey. Where are they? Wow. Yeah, hi, Pong. Hi, Pong. Stop, Tom. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's got call. Yeah, wow. I made bun wa. So you see they got different types you can get. You got like a bun mi siu mai, you got a bun mi cha, bun mi cha cha bong, uh bun mi ka moi, but we're going to get the top kam. It's going to have everything on it. One plate runs you about 50 and it is a hot spot. I'm telling you this isn't just a family Sunday spot. This is a everyday busy. I don't crave bun mi chow a lot, but when I do, you gotta come here. They open at six in the morning and they close at 1.30. I do believe they usually sell out. Ooh, little side street about got hit. Yeah. I got a different chow than you. <laughs> My chow different than your chow. <laughs> Much deeper. Much deeper. For that deeper southern accent, man. That's right. Uh, so they actually have like mayonnaise and stuff you can grab from over here. So what do we got here? That's the shumai. We got the pat We got the actual beef. It's been in like a, he said it was like a satay sauce. We got the little happy cow cheese, onion, a beautiful, two beautiful Vietnamese sausages. There's a fried runny egg in there. That is long now if I've ever seen it. Pickled veg. Uh, mayonnaise, we got the chili sauce, we got actually soy sauce, and we got actual chilies that are crushed and ready to go. These are the fire ones too. I'm usually not a mayo person, but... Make it rain. What you saying, Chris? I don't know. What am I saying? Is this pepper? Okay, since it's the northerner's first time, I think having bun mi chow in the south, we're letting go first. My hopes, I don't know if they're high or not. Less talking, more eating. How do I even do this, Max? However you want, that's the beauty of it. Bro, got the combination plate. All right, we're going for, I'm dipping in a little bit of everything, Max. I'm feeling, ooh. I'm gonna get the pet day. I'm going for the happy cow cheese. Moo, moo, moo. See if it's gonna have me talking like a cow after. Moo. Mm. I mean, 
you get the, the Saigon Mudway, which is like key right here. It's light, it's flaky. I actually like a little mayo and a little pate. It's kind of like a, that's nostalgia right there. It's just like a classic. I'm trying not to touch this plate again because I've already burned myself on it. Just a little egg. Hello, hello, chumai right there. That's the money bite, nostalgia, traditional, whatever you want. The key to a perfect bimi chow bite is getting the perfect sized bread. We're going for some pate. You want any like pickle veg? We going for the pickle veg. Do I go with my? We're going with the. We're going with the nia. Speechless is so good. Speechless, I can't talk. I'm too full. I know that bite. You get the mayo, the happy cow cheese that melts a little bit, the runny egg. Not gonna lie, okay. This is this is these are my thoughts. You like the toppings here better. You get the siu mai, you get the the cheese. And the bite me here is better. It's a, there's things I like about both. I guess I'm just gonna have to live in both cities, Max. Sounds like a win to me. Look at that. I'm a big believer that banh mi chow may get better the more bites you take. Which means it's impossible to stop eating until it's all gone or you drop it on the floor. Failure. Okay, got my money. Thank you, Max, for breakfast. You're welcome. I didn't have to pay for breakfast this morning. I was oh, you got yours <laughs> free. That's all right. That's good. Like, bun me chow. You did pay for coffee. Bun me chow. It's like one of those things where I really don't eat that often, y'all. Um, it's something that I, I crave, like, I'd rather just go get a bun me shumai and, like, add the pate to it. So I don't eat it that often. I'm not like Chris. I don't eat it all the time. But thanks, Chris, for coming. Good having you in Saigon again. Thank you for showing me, uh... This bang me chow is pretty good. I'm still gonna have to, oof. Unpopular opinion. I know bang me chow is still better. Okay. Unpopular opinion. One of us is a food blogger, one of us is not. Um, <laughs> anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed it. We're about to get out of here. That is for today. We're gonna go do some edits and stuff, some boring stuff, and then I'll be back tomorrow making some more videos. Gonna try to bring something. A lot more often than I have been. Work hard. Michael. <laughs>